Christine, thank you. Some new developments in the battle between the state of Florida and the federal government over that state's efforts to purge illegal immigrants from its voter rolls ahead of the November election. The Department of Homeland Security has finally agreed to grant Florida officials access to its SAVE database, which keeps a record of non-U.S. citizens who are living in the country. The decision comes just a few weeks after a federal judge denied a request from the Justice Department to suspend the state's voter purge. With me this morning, Florida's Governor Rick Scott. Nice to see you, sir. Thanks for for being with us. We appreciate it. Explain to me what the new agreement means exactly. Sure. First off, Sully, you know that song, I Hope You Dance, was a father-daughter song for my first daughter's wedding. Oh. So I took dance lessons and everything. So, so hopefully nobody has any pictures of it, though, because I'm sure it wasn't very good. <laughs> We're going to find them and put them you know, up on the air soon. I know, I know. <laughs> well, here's what it does. Um, you know, their database will allow us to make sure that in future elections, you know, non-U.S. citizens aren't going to vote. Uh, so I'm really very appreciative that the federal government is cooperating with this and uh, it allows us to go through a, a logical process to make sure non-citizens non aren't voting and hopefully it'll set, it creates a path for other states that are, have the same concern. But there are restrictions, right? What are the restrictions? Yeah, what, what you have to do is you have to make, you know, we, there, the Secretary of State will work with our, we have 67 supervisors of elections, each county has one, and he'll work with them to make sure it's a very methodical process where you'll confirm uh, the, uh, the names and things like that to make sure that there's a good due process, because we want to make, look, in Florida, I want, I tell people this all the time, this is not a partisan issue. You want people to register to vote, get involved in campaigns, and vote. And so we want to make sure this is done the right way, but non-citizens aren't voting in our elections. Why do you, do you have any idea why Homeland Security would agree now and, and, and why now? I mean, they've agreed and now, I'm curious why. I don't know, you know, it took, it, it took almost a year, um, the, but I'm very appreciative uh, that they're doing it. Uh, this is good, I mean, states and federal government ought to be cooperating on things. Everybody has the same goal. We want fair, honest elections. We don't want, none of us, Nobody wants non-U.S. citizens to vote in our, our elections, so I have no idea why, but I'm very appreciative. Okay, so then what happens over the next few months? Uh, what's your strategy going to be? Are you going to continue with the, the purge using this database? You've had some folks who... Well, you know, there was it. never a purge. As, so, as you know, there was never a purge. What we, do, what we do is we provide information to our local supervisor elections. We have 67 of them uh, per county. Uh, we'll give them names that people that uh, it appears would not be a U.S. citizen that might be on the, uh, on the voter rolls, and then they'll go through the due process. What happens is you, you send them a notice uh, by mail. If they don't respond, you put it in the paper, uh, and then if they don't respond, they're taken off the voter rolls. But when the election happens, and this happened to me, uh, you go in and you're not on the voter rolls. In my case, they, I think it was 2006, they said I'd passed away. You get to vote provisionally. <coughs> Um, so, so that way, you know, we know everybody that's a U.S. citizen that's registered to vote will have the right to vote. We want to make sure everybody has their right to vote. Well, I know you know that one man's process is another mm. man's purge, so I think there's some people who would disagree with you on it. The 67 counties, um, some, many actually had said they weren't going to go ahead with, um, you know, the original process. Does that now change? Will they reverse their decisions, do you know? Well, I believe so. I mean, this, this is very reliable data uh, that the uh, Homeland Security is going to be giving us. So I think, you know, it's very reliable data. So I'm, you know, I can't imagine they're not going to go forward and make sure because I, I don't know anybody, any supervisor election, anybody in our state that thinks non-U.S. citizens ought to be voting in our races. So it's, it's going to be good for all of our citizens. I mean, look, the right to vote is a sacred right. We cannot, uh, we've got to make sure that U.S. citizens' right to vote is not diluted. Uh, as the judge said, it would cause irreparable harm if that happened. So we're going to go through a very responsible, logical process with good due process to make sure that non-U.S. citizens do not vote, but U.S. citizens absolutely will want them to vote. Governor Rick Scott, Republican from Florida. Nice to see you, sir. Thanks for talking with us. We appreciate it. Have a good day. Thank you. Likewise. No.